Okay, I said I was going to do this video. Walmart transportation. Policies, pay raises, and reimbursements. Things I do not like about Walmart. Cue the intro. <laughs> Okay, as you all know, I did do onboarding in Lawrence, South Carolina, middle of February, 2022. There was 50, count them, 50 drivers trying to get hired. All of us had quit our jobs and gone to onboarding. Now, they did tell us that it's not guaranteed you had to finish onboarding to be hired. But they misled all of us. Now, they told us they were going to pay us 59 cents a mile to drive to, uh, to the town we had our hotel in. And then uh, drive to the D.C. and back every day, which was over 20 miles each way. Then they were going to give us $22, up to $22 for meals if you turn in receipt. Now, we had to go in there Sunday afternoon and check in, do a little bit of paperwork Sunday afternoon before we went into our hotel room. Did it at a hotel. Monday, we had to do our drug test, do our I-9s, and all that good jazz. Monday afternoon, after watching an HR video, they took us outside and showed us the Walmart way to do a pre-trip. And which I've done a video on. And then they had a, showed us how to do the bagging. Done a video on. So, Tuesday comes along. We go in. We drive back to the D.C. 20 some miles each way. Drive back. And then we do our uh, pre-trip bagging driving. And then Tuesday night, Tuesday afternoon, we had to watch him do the Walmart pre-trip again, which there was tw 15 of us, 20 of us to one instructor and you couldn't even hear him because he was wearing his face mask. But, and then we had to watch him do the backing and did it again Wednesday and again, you know, Thursday's test day. Now they gave you 30 minutes to do the back, uh, pre trip inspection truck, then hook it, completely hook up to the trailer, do it the Walmart way, which I told you uh, I've already talked about the pre trip and how to do it. Do the backing, which they give you 20 minutes, and do the road test. So come to find out that every, every time I did it, yep, you're good, no problem. They couldn't man up and say, you sped in this area, you fail. No, they couldn't do that. Every day, supposedly they wrote stuff down on a paper and didn't tell me a thing. I asked every day when I did my road test. Any, any issues? Nope, you're good. First day I did Tuesday when I did it, the guy said I did good, no issues. But he got Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Told me I was good. Well, yeah, Thursday, no. But uh, I mean, Friday, no. But Thursday, you know, yep, you're good, you're good. Until Thursday night when they started calling all of us in one by one to say, now you need to come back Friday and retest. You did this and you did that. I'm like, uh, no. But they couldn't tell us nothing. That's one major dislike. Now, before they sent me home Friday, they asked where I lived again. I'm like, Statesville, North Carolina. You got my address right there on my driver's license, which you took a photocopy of. You met my metal card card, which you took a photo of. And my, and blah, blah, blah. And here's the receipts for the meals I ate. Okay, no problem. We'll send you a money card with that amount, which I believe was gonna be close to $500 in travel and meal expenses. Okay, no problem. 
I waited a week and I came here to Tyson. I waited for whatever offers and Tyson seemed like the best close by pay, which I'm making more money now than I did at Ashley. But when I was in onboard uh, uh, orientation at Ashley, I mean, after, when I was on onboarding at Tyson, my check came from Walmart, $1,200. Orientation pay, onboarding pay. I have yet to this day received any money for the travel and meal expenses like they promised me I was gonna get. Which was, like I said, probably close to 500 bucks. I've even sent them an email two weeks ago, no response. Some policies I did not like. If you had any issues, any pump ups, anything like that, over a thousand dollars, they want you complete phone records. They told us, oh, if you have carriers such and such, such and such, you need to find a new phone carrier because it, we can't get them uh, re, your uh, reports. If we have an issue like that, we're going to send you home without pay until you bring us your phone records. So it could take you a week to three weeks, whatever, to get your phone records via your cell phone carrier for them to let you continue working or not. If you had any ish major, any so many points or steps or whatever, they're going to stop you from using your cell phone. You can't talk on the phone while driving. Yes, you have to use a headset talking. I got many headsets. But uh, they limit you back the old Walmart way. 10 minutes for, I think, every couple hours, 10 minutes a day. Yeah, we ain't much. Another policies and all this, you have to ride with a mentor for weeks sometimes. A lot of times they send drivers out with a mentor, but they're not cleared to drive yet because it hasn't gone through safety. Safety gives you the okay to drive. I wouldn't want to sit in a damn passenger seat for you know, a couple weeks. Yeah, you're making money, but you're not doing it. You're not, you have to have so much time with a mentor driving before you can go on your own where you make the money. So that's another thing I don't like. I don't like the idea of sharing trucks, especially with a day of COVID. Yeah, COVID is dying out now, but it'll probably come back in the winter again. I've been seeing reports of different people coming down with COVID, I guess. I don't know. I caught COVID in January. But I don't like sharing trucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, you have to keep your truck clean. But you, there's some drivers that don't keep them clean. After uh, about the time I started here at Tice in the end of February, they came out with the pay raise that made a lot of drivers retire right then. Now, some areas of the country make more money, especially up in the Northeast, California, than other areas I'm okay with. But they gave another pay raise. Those areas got, and some other DCs got an eight cent per mile pay raise. Good pay raise. Other parts, it could be a DC, the next DC close to you, got a cent. That made a lot of drivers retire or find another line of work. Now, Walmart finally realized about two weeks ago, oh, we messed up. So they're giving drivers five cents a mile now instead of the one cent. They had to cover their butts because they ticked off their workforce. Now, I just saw a story on NBC, which I'll put it over here. Where they're advertising Walmart's 95 to 110,000 biggest pay raise ever. A one cent pay raise is the biggest pay cent ever. Until your company drivers started quitting and retiring. I heard a lot of drivers just went up and retired. They weren't going to do it. So that's another thing I didn't like. You don't treat the drivers equal. I could see different parts of the country making different, you know, making more money or not. 
but they were already making five, six cents more a mile than their other areas. Mm. And then you want to give them an eight cent pay raise and then give the next the guy 100 miles away a penny? How's that right? And that's the Walmart way. Now, Walmart did send me a check for the $1,200 for onboarding, but they haven't sent me my, like I said, trans my transportation and meals. Like they told me they were. Asked me point blank for the receipts to send me the money or gift card. They put that on the gift card because it's tax free. Still to this day, ain't got it. Send them an email two weeks ago. No response. <laughs> yeah. If you have any major damage, like I said, they're going to put you in steps. So many steps, you're fired. If you uh, didn't check the King, uh, the trailer pins and you mess up the trailer for not for it slamming in the back yeah it's a major and you're gonna be on cell phone hold and uh type that type of things and you're gonna be fired soon probably too like i said it's steps <laughs> now so like i said major things i didn't like and onboarding every instructor mentor or whatever they want to call them had different ideas of how to judge they cannot be on the book even equal you can ask one instructor mentor whatever you want to call them if i did this is it good yep the next guy no 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 you'd fail same thing you you could talk to them two minutes apart and we had to tell them over and over hey 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 this something ain't right the instructors are t saying different things and other instructors went to other instructors and oh that's good no that's bad and, you know so they finally like on day wednesday they finally oh we got all the instructors on the same path because everyone said this ain't right but like i said there was 50 of us in that class in lawrence south carolina 50 i bet you they didn't hire 20 but they mislead the drivers they come up there. All of us had quit our just about all of us had quit our jobs. <laughs> Expecting, yeah, on orientation, going to be easy. <laughs> they didn't like you. They'll find a reason not to hire you. The instructors. Yeah. That's why I'm pretty sure it is. If the instructors think you farted the wrong way or whatever, they're just going to blackball you and you won't get hired. And then come Friday, you're Send them. So that's another reason. Yeah, I won't go back to Walmart. My buddy said I needed to go to a different DC and go up to Dover, Delaware and do it. No. I'm making good money here at Tyson. I think the reason he's keep pushing me to go to Walmart because he wants the referral. Hey, I'll get referral money here at Tyson. People want to come to Tyson and use my, ref my, uh, my employee number? I'll give it to you. I don't like the idea of sharing trucks. I don't like the idea of giving my records anytime they want. Oh, we need your phone records. Now, DOT can pull our phone records. Yes, I'm okay with it. But another one of their policies is if they pull your phone records and say you sent a text an hour before you were you were in a dock somewhere and you had no internet and it didn't send, but it sent three miles down the road and they pulled those records against your law book. You're driving when they, you sent that law, that message and you're going to be in trouble. Now we know places around, you know, cell phone coverage could be good here. Half a mile up the road. It could be nothing. I use Verizon because that seems the best for uh, truck drivers. But Verizon does throw all you back if you're in a busy area. They'll throw out your internet back. But I don't like the idea of companies saying, oh, we need your phone records and you're going to sit home without pay until you get them. It could take a couple, a week, two, to get your phone records for safety. I don't like the idea of them putting you on with a truck with a mentor 
but not giving you permission to drive the truck so you can't actually do anything yeah i will not go back to at walmart i don't like the way they treat their drivers especially on that pay raise i don't like the i did the way they treat their drivers going to orientation onboarding whatever they want to call it i don't like the way they treat their drivers by they have to share trucks i don't like how they treat their drivers by oh we need your phone records oh we need you to do this we need you to do that now i am for the money but there's companies that make good money just like walmart yeah walmart's got a little perk by uh, you got places to park at the stores not every store you can so i won't be going back to walmart like i said they still haven't paid me for my transportation which is probably close to four to five hundred dollars give or take but they did pay me the twelve hundred dollar onboarding i won't be going back my buddy keeps saying I needed to need to. No. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, especially about the policies at Walmart, leave them below. If you're new, please subscribe and thumb up the video. I'll talk to you next time. <laughs>